Okay, we've had a few little changes. The previous one was about the braking system and the reducing the storage area in the front boot. Another big change that we've had is moving our macerator pump that used to be located in the front boot area to we now locate it underneath the front of the drawbar here. It's actually, the pump unit by being there has also given us the opportunity to have our pump outlet now changed. We used to have the outlet for draining the black water tank and the likes of uh, on the side of the van in a couple of different positions over time. The last, last one was actually located near the kitchen area underneath there if you wanted to drain your tank through the pump that was located there. We still do have the manual uh, dump point there, which is not through the pump system. It's opening the valve and let it drain out a gravity feed system. By changing it to here, it now offers us the opportunity to pull up at any dump point. It doesn't matter that you have to be on one side of the van to drain it. We can be central here, hooking our black hose that I've got sitting up the top here. Um, hooking that onto the bottom outlet through the cam lock down here and we can actually feed it to the dump point either side of the van now. Simple operation, this is only a dust cover that we've got on here so we take off the two little levers on there, that's just a little bit of water coming out. We would connect the hose in particular straight onto that fitting there. Then we've got a lever up underneath here I've got my fingers onto, I would pull that towards me once that hose is connected, that is open line now from our black tank. Now to activate that to pump out, uh, we actually have to turn our switch on, which is located inside the boot area here. And as you can see there, if I had that valve open and I flick that there, we'll hear the pump activate. That there, if the valve was open, I would be now draining our black water tank, so getting rid of anything out of our toilet system. The other fitting that's on the front here above that black fitting where we would drain out is a flushing point. So it's just a standard click on hose. The little black cap in the front is just a dust protector as well. The idea of this is it allows us to flush through our lines back into our tank because when we're draining out of our uh, black drain tank through the macerator pump, that actually still needs to be cleaned. So we need to clean out our tank and our lines. And what we do by hooking up our garden hose through here, we push water back through into the tank. We have the pump running, we have that valve open, we still have our black hose connected, and that will flush out whatever's left in the tank until we get nice or cleaner water coming out the end that you're happy with what you've got out the other end of the hose, the black hose, uh, then you can stop flushing through on that side. So for the flushing side to do a reverse flush, we would get the hose that we supply here, our reverse hose fitting, goes over the two the section there, pull the cam locks down, locking it into place, one on the top, one on the bottom there. And then I would connect our hose onto here, our normal garden hose and, and fitting onto there. So now that's allowing me to flush back through the system into the tank. By doing this operation here, by doing the reverse flush, you're best to have the, um, the gravity feed side of the tank open on the side underneath the kitchen there with the black hose connected to it there to drain away. If you didn't want to do that, you can just flush this line through from here back into the tank so you're flushing the line, cleaning the line on its own. So a lot more convenient being located here at the front. We've got more access to the dump point and easier to use. It's quite quick and easy to get our hose on here, click it on, into the dump point, open the valve and flick on our uh, switch there and we're now pumping out our tank. Okay, this is our manual drain point off our black water tank or our toilet tank. So by taking off the dust cover again, I'm then able to hook up our black hose onto here, our, our drain hose and drain that out onto the ground through the hose. Now to do that, once the hose is connected, I've then got a lever up underneath here where my hand is located, I'd pull that towards me and that gravity feed is allowing the build up uh, anything in the tank to be drained out from that side. Also on this point here, if I want to do the cleaning side after I've drained out the tank, I can do the reverse flush side. So by utilising our reverse flushing pipe, I would connect that onto the outlet, the same as what I would if I put the dust cover back on or the black hose on there. Connected on, I would then actually hook on our garden hose onto the side here with our pressure. I would open the valve again 
and then I would allow the water to flush through there. Because I'm doing it this way, I'm trying to clean out anything that's left in the tank in debris wise, I would still be pumping out through our front pump out point on the draw bar on the A-frame. Now, the concerning area that if the tank is not cleaned correctly, we can have a build up of toilet paper inside the tank, inside the lines, or on the impeller blades of the macerator pump. That is critical that we do try and clean these regularly. We do recommend every two to three empties of the black water tank when it's full um, to give it a good flush out. Not an actual clean, but a flushing out and, and cleaning out the lines more than anything. Then after a, a few empties and, uh, or going into storage mode, then you might look at putting a detergent through or a cleaner through um, to clean out the actual tank and clean out the lines that little bit more again so we've got a nice clean system for our next use. But this is a reverse flushing point as well as a drain out point. It is a gravity feed, it's not through the pump on this one. The only way this has to be activated when this hose is attached for reverse flushing we have to pump it out through our pump at the front on the drawbar. And then we would close our valve. Once we've done that, we'd push our valve back up, close that off, and we're now disconnected that tank seal back off again, turn off our pump if we were going through the pump system.